Hey, good morning. I'm Nathan from Perth in Western Australia, and I'm going to show you how to supercharge your day every morning in just 10 minutes. Ready? Let's go. So there's three things I want to show you. The first is bulletproof coffee. Absolute star of the show. Actually, out at the moment. Tastes great. Uh, extremely good for you, which I'll explain later on. But the killer app for this is the uh, great focus you'll get for around eight hours. Uh, it also keeps you satiated throughout the morning. I'm going to show you, secondly, a, a quick breakfast you can throw together while the kettle boils. Uh, Gluten-free, tastes great, and a really good way to kickstart those energy levels as well. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to quickly run through my secret stack of uh, smart drugs, nootropics, uh, that I'm currently researching. Definitely optional. Uh, I recommend you go and see some uh, professionals around that before actually giving it a go. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll run you through those and explain a little bit more about how you can find out a bit more information on those if you're interested in that. The uh, videos are broken down into two components, so uh, this uh, instructional bit where I'll show you how um, each of the products work and the methods to put it all together yourself, and then a quick run through of how the whole thing works uh, on a normal morning. All right, ready? Let's go. Right, here we have all the required parts of what I'm calling a success recipe. We have uh, the coffee components here, so uh, an AeroPress, awesome little portable coffee maker. Uh, this helps you make the perfect cup every time. I use the Able Disc Filter. Uh, just be careful not to uh, drop that into the bin when you're cleaning it out like I did the first time. Uh, this is the Brain Octane Oil, upgraded Brain Octane Oil, 18 times stronger than coconut oil. I now use this in my cooking as well. Uh, I put a bit of uh, this with um, a couple of avocados, a squeeze of lemon juice and some oregano, and uh, it just really makes the best quark I've ever had. Um, finally, some grass-fed butter. Uh, I'll link out to a fantastic infographic on why it has to be grass-fed, but suffice to say, it's just better for you. Uh, now, I hand grind my own beans. This is my uh, Paulex Mini. Thank you, Timothy Ferris. Um, just something I don't know, primal, meditative about uh, really taking the time to do this, um, feeling the crush of those beans. Um, but let's stick to the, the time saving method. I've already got my uh, beans pre uh, ground there. Uh, and then the, over here we've got the breakfast components. So uh, nice and simple. I've got some free range eggs from a local farm, a uh, nice avocado. So um, Himalayan pink salt, uh, full of micronutrients and basically just tastes better. Tarragon of course, its best friend and uh, obviously we've got some utensils and stuff over I'll show you when we get that underway. Um, third area then tropics, I'll go through that in a bit more detail later on but uh, you can head on over to something like peaknutropics.com, um, I'll link out that as well. Uh, for more information on these, um, just one of the places I get them. Uh, there's plenty of places around that are stocking them these days. Uh, uh, my current stack, uh, I've got the, what's choline, I've got the paracetam, uh, paramaracetam, uh, siniferum. Uh, my favourite is Nupept, I actually take that twice a day. Uh, and on mornings where I'm not actually having the breakfast component, which is, I guess is called intermittent fasting, um, I don't, uh, I, I supplement with a bit of choline, so that's a choline tartrate there. Uh, in the afternoon I use the granddaddy of uh, the racetam, so I've got about 3 grams of paracetam uh, and a, about 1200 milligrams of anaracetam and obviously my second round of Nupect. Won't go uh, too much of the, into those in uh, this video, I'll obviously link out to some other areas where you can do the research yourself. Um, I'll, I might even create another detailed video soon if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments if you'd like, and I'll put that up there. All right, let's get into the making. So let's get down to business. Uh, to make this a lot more easier and efficient, I leave all this stuff out um, overnight. Uh, so I can just come down and actually grab the eggs and the butter out of the fridge and, and kick it off. So uh, first things first, turn the stove on, nice low heat, kettle on. And we're off to the races. So, uh, butter and eggs out the fridge. While I'm in the fridge, I usually grab myself my salmon oil as well. Probably not interesting to you. Oh, I'll take that one. Right, so, 
the eggs for a butter. Uh, to remind me that I have the stove on for it not to burn, and a little bit of butter in there. If you think the butter going, uh, it's trying to put the eggs in. So, butter stick in there. Have much butter you like, the more butter the merrier. It's delicious. Uh, classic butter as well as the salted butter. Uh, unsalted butter for your coffee. Salted butter doesn't taste, uh, sorry, salted coffee doesn't taste great. Um, I'm also going to put the collagen in this morning. My wife loves the collagen while it's going to her skin, so um, I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in. I've also got the uh, MCT oil and the brain octane. Um, I want a tablespoon of each. Uh, if you've never tried them before, I recommend uh, starting small. Uh, Dave Asprey will ask you to start small as well. Uh, for what calls disaster points. Early morning to be talking about your stuff. So um, let's get into it. The avocado is nice and easy. Split right around and open. Good. I always, um, I'm going to use half this morning and half tomorrow morning, so I leave the seed in to slow the browning process. Um, quick tip to get the seed out, knife in, straight out, nice and easy. There we go. Uh, I usually share my eggs with my son, but I've got to go through that, so I have to uh, stick with his normal breakfast this morning. So, three eggs, one. Circular 
motion to make sure we're getting it all down the bottom. And I'm going to use the scraper. Some four. Careful not to go over the top because you'll end up with grounds in your coffee. We can put that lid on so we get the vacuum going. And I usually leave that there for about 30 seconds to brew. Uh, we've got a nice omelette forming in the eggs there. I'm just going to scrape out the avocado. Now I mash, <laughs> I mash it up. Just do it with two hands, Nathan. So I can mix it in uh, easier with my eggs. Make sure I get all of that nutrient dense stuff out of the skin. And while that's brewing, I'm going to chuck my eggs in. Got a spatula. Mix that up. You can see they're nice and soft. Hopefully you can see that. Still nice and soft. Just going to mix them up. Turn the stove off. Eggs are done. Obviously, too hot burning mouth at the moment. While we finish off the coffee, so we'll flip that over. I'm using the inverted method for the AeroPress. Loads of different ways you can do it. I just find this is the easiest one to clean up. Uh, less spillage. I also take my time on the press. I find if you take about 30 seconds to push the whole way down, the slower the better. You get a bit more of a rounded flavour and a bit less bitterness as well. Alright, this is the slow part of the film. <laughs> That's the fun part. So you can also add uh, some of the uh, upgraded vanilla beans, coffee, cocoa butter. Uh, vanilla is a regular one for me. Uh, I just want to mix it up a little bit, especially on the mornings where I don't have the breakfast. Um, and for all you guys out there who usually have sugar and milk in your cup of joe, uh, it's a nice flavour enhancer. A bit sweeter with the um, vanilla. The vanilla is very good for you. I think we're almost done. You hear a slight hiss start, which is where it gets to the bottom of the, the air. There we go. That one's all finished. Let's go all over the floor. Right, so there's our eggs. Put these out of the way. You can see. I might bring that camera a little closer to get this bit going. This is my. Sorry about the camera shakes, but let's bring it nice and close so you can see the blending in action. Okay. So the butter is pretty much melted. Um, I've got my trusty $5 milk frother. Whack it in there. Those of you who have used an espresso machine before, there's obviously a perfect pitch for this where it's actually blending everything right. I find it's near the top of the um, liquid. And you'll find it gives you a much creamier head. So you see all the colours have all mixed through and you're getting one pretty much one consistent colour now. Not much longer. And there you have it. Now obviously a little bit slower while I'm explaining this all to you. The whole thing takes less than 10 minutes for me. Um, so I'll actually show you this now on uh, full pelt from a normal morning. Um,
So there you have it, how to supercharge your day every morning in just 10 minutes. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you like this and if you'd like to see some more. Uh, any suggestions, highly welcomed. Uh, and congratulations, you're now a morning person. Welcome to the club. Cheers.